Hello everyone. I am Dr. CP Ravi Kumar. I am a consultant pediatric neurologist. This is a doctor's video on sodium valproate. Sodium valproate is a medicine very commonly used in the treatment of epilepsy or a seizure disorder, rarely for treatment of migraines and also in bipolar disorder. The way it acts is just imagine an epilepsy or headache or a bipolar disorder, the brain is overactive and it is sending excess electrical signals. This medicine reduces this excess signals and calms down the brain and thereby controls this abnormal symptoms which may be seizure, which may be migraine or even the mood disorders. It has to be taken usually two times a day. Very rarely we have also advised this medicine three times a day. So always follow the doctor's advice. It is preferable to take this medicine after food but sometimes rarely you can take it before food as well probably after a glass of milk or a cup of juice. Now with respect to this particular medicine, many a times parents are worried about the potential side effect because when you do the Google, you'll get all the side effects and uh, all the kind of negative connotation around this medicine. What I can only tell you is this medicine has been around for more than eight, eight decades. It is quite safe. The benefits outweigh the risk, but very rarely side effects do happen. It is important to be aware of them and take necessary steps or precautions if at all if it, hap if it happens. Common side effect is it can cause a little bit of gastritis, it can cause a bit of sleepiness or drowsiness. This usually goes away after a few weeks. One of the very known, well known side effect is increased appetite means you want to eat more. Now it depends on what you eat. If you eat healthy food then very likely you will not put on weight but if you end up eating high calorie or junk food you will put on weight so it is in your control very rarely it can also affect the liver function and also function of another organ called pancreas pancreas is an organ which secretes insulin so for those who are diabetic you are aware this is the most important organ for regulating sugar so liver disorder or a pancreatic pancreatic disorder or pancreatitis is the most significant possible or a potential side effect of sodium malfoid. If it happens, usually it can cause, come as severe abdominal pain, means pain in the stomach, vomiting, jaundice, itching of the skin. All this can be features of a potential side effect or involving the liver or pancreas. If you notice any of those things, then you have to immediately rush to your doctor and it can be picked up by a simple blood test and also by clinical examination. Another important feature of sodium malfoid is use in pregnant women, lactating women or even in young ladies who are post-pubertal. There are many countries now who recommend not to use sodium malfoid in post-puberty or in fact in many younger age group. The risk of this particular medicine is it increases the potential risk of uh, what we call PCOD, hormonal imbalances and it's a definite no in a pregnant woman or if you're planning to conceive unless and until there is no other option. So always remember do not use sodium alphabet if you are planning to conceive. Preferably it is avoided in any post pubertal woman unless there is no other option. Hopefully this summarizes the whole about sodium malfoid. If you need more information, you can always read on the blog which details all the potential side effects. So remember, sodium malfoid when used in a right way, in the right dose, it is a right medicine for many common types of epilepsy. Thank you very much.